All right, guys. So before I start showing you what I'm doing, these are my uh, voltage set points. So my absorb voltage is going to be 3.5 volts per cell times 12 cells gives you 42 volts. So that's my key. But my charge controller is a volt lower than my BMS, and I'm going to use the BMS voltage. So my end voltage will be 43 volts this is my absorb set and my float voltage is 3.4 volts times 12 which is 40.8 volts plus 1 volt 41.8 volts pretty straightforward thanks alright guys so this is the next part so we've already got a full charge cycle through. You see how far they're off balance. And they're not balancing because there's not much going on here. If I were to turn on a heater, which I will be shortly, it will uh, even itself out and start balancing. But I'm gonna show you how I set this charger up for my settings for lithium. So I've already, got my uh, absorb voltage set so these are my absorb voltage set to 43 like I had on the thing there and my float vo voltage is going to be reset so standard password is 141 on every controller or for flex maxes and go down to the float setting Increase this to 41. I'm just going to go 41.5. Exit that. But I don't want it to go into float. So I'm going into my advanced. And I'm going to set my rebulk to the same as my float voltage, which that's all it will allow me to do, anyways. So I'll keep that there. I'm also going to show you what I did. It's also an advanced. You want to set your ab uh, absorption time. There, here, absorption time down to as low as it'll go. So that's about a little under five, five minutes to ten minutes, somewhere in there, it'll absorb for. So that's where I like to set that. And then now we're set. So now that we're coming close to this float here, you will see once it hits 41.5, it'll want to go into float. And then it will see that the rebulk is also set for the same. And it will hit a new VOC, which is check its open voltage. And then it will be in float for a couple minutes. And then from there, it will notice its voltage and it will rebulk and do its cycle again. You can see I have no load running right now, so it's very hard to drop these cells down. So give me a minute. I'm going to try and get someone to turn on the bathroom heater. Thanks. All right. Now we have that heater on. Hope I made it. Okay. There. It went into floating. So I'm going to check the time, 5 after, I just want to just kind of confirm what I've told you. It'll take a couple minutes in this, and then it will notice that it needs to rebulk, and then, yeah, you'll see. I think it takes about uh, almost two minutes.
Tracking to go back into its bulk. And then we'll run another cycle again. There we go. We're now in bulk. It's very cloudy outside right now, so. And with the 500 watt heater on, I don't think we're going to go up at all to its bulk again. Unless I turn off the heater, and then it will just recycle itself again. But, that seems to work well for me, how I got that set up. And I hope that was easy enough for everyone to understand, and tell you it does work. Thank you.